go on to the 20th meeting in 2019 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. First item of business is to propose that we take items 6 and 7 on consideration of the Delegated Powers provisions in the Non-Domestic Rates Bill and our quarterly report in private. Does the committee agree to that? Okay. Agenda item 2, consideration of an SSI laid under the European Union Withdrawal Act 2018. We're considering the scrutiny procedure under which it's been laid and the categorisation applied by the Scottish Government. So we've got the seed and propagating material EU Exit Scotland Amendment number 2, regulations SSI 2019-190. That's been laid under the negative procedure and it's been categorised as of low significance. The instrument amends various marketing regulations for seed and plant pro propagating materials. These regulations transpose EU directives to ensure minimum quality standards and traceability. The instrument also corrects errors in a previous instrument, which were identified by the committee at its meeting on the 12th of March. Our advisers indicate that the scrutiny procedure and categorisation could be appropriate. So is the committee content that the appropriate scrutiny procedure and categorisation has been applied. Content. Thank you. Agenda item three, we're considering an instrument subject to the affirmative procedure. No points have been raised on the draft debt arrangement scheme, Scotland Amendment Regulations 2019. So is the committee content with that? Content. content. Okay. And the next item, item four, considering instruments subject to negative procedure. Um, and we're looking at the Welfare Foods Best Start Food Scotland Regulations 2019 SSI 2019-193. The regulations make provision for a new scheme which will replace the UK Healthy Start vouchers in Scotland. And the aim of the scheme is to help and encourage low-income pregnant women and families with children under three in receipt of certain benefits to have access to healthy foods. The meaning of Regulation 18, which concerns the level of fine for an offence relating to failing to notify a change in circumstances or to produce a payment card, could be made clearer. Details of that are available in our published papers. The Scottish Government has, has acknowledged this concern and has made a commitment to lay an amending instrument to clarify the regulation. So does the committee wish to draw the regulations to the attention of the Parliament on reporting ground H as the meaning of regulations could be clearer? Agreed. Agreed. Okay, and does the committee wish to welcome the Scottish Government's undertaking to lay an amending instrument to clarify the drafting of regulation 18? Agreed. Agreed. Right. And next we've got the Local Government Pension Scheme Miscellaneous Amendment Scotland Amendment Regulations 2019 SSI 2019-204. The instrument rect rectifies two relatively minor errors identified by the committee at its meeting on the 21st of May. The instrument was laid before the Parliament on the 11th of June and comes into force on the 28th of June. This does not respect the requirement that at least 28 days should elapse between the laying of an instrument which is subject to the negative procedure and date on which it comes into force. The reasons for the breach are set out in correspondence with the presiding officer, which is available in our published papers. Standing orders require the committee to draw to the Parliament's attention any failure to respect the 28-day laying requirement. So does the committee wish to draw the regulations to the attention of Parliament on reporting ground J as they fail to comply with the requirements of section 28.2 of the Interpretation and Legislative Reform Scotland Act 2010? Agreed. Okay. And is the committee content that the failure to comply with section 28 is acceptable in the circumstances? Agreed. Agreed. Thank you. No points arose on SSI's 2019 190, 191 and 195. So is the committee content with these instruments? Content. And item five, we're considering an instrument that's not subject to any parliamentary procedure. Uh, there have been no points on SSI 2019-197. Is the co committee content with this instrument? Content. 
Thank you, and I'll move the meeting into private.